Welcome back to more Final Fantasy VIII, everyone. So last time we got, well, a couple of uh, interesting things. We got Doom Train, we got Eden, we fought Ultima Weapon, and we received 100 Ultima Stones, which basically means 100 Ultima Spells for one character, which is amazing. This time, however, we have, you know what? I'm not going to enter from this side. That's the back side, man. That is the back side. So we have a few more side quests to do before we actually progress the game. I believe in the next episode we're going to progress because in between episodes, I'm going to most likely, um, oh wait, am I going to trigger, no I didn't, okay. You can actually trigger an encounter that even with encountering none, and I'm going to be doing that in this episode, but first of all, the Windhill side quest. But yeah, in between I'm probably going to level up to 100, you guys already know the strategy on how to do that, and there's no point in me just wasting time for all of you. Okay, so I need to enter the, um, the large mansion, which is right over here. I love this music, by the way. I love it so much. It's just like Fisherman's Horizon. I love this music. Okay, so I need to go to the, um... Well, there's some person here that's gonna be like, what the heck? Look at this. Look at that sta- is that a statue? I'm pretty sure that's a statue. Hello there, dude. The base is missing. There's no such thing. Is there? I don't know. I don't freaking know. My precious base is missing. The base that has been passed down in my family for many generations. Oh my god. Okay, well, I mean, whatever. Um, I can help you. I can help you, I'm just saying. I could. That's closed. Is everything closed? I guess so. I guess everything is closed, because he's not saying anything else. Nope. What about this door? Dude, they're all closed. What the heck? Well, I guess I can't do much, because there's a quest here, which, I mean, it's actually a really stupid reward by this point in the game, but, you know, it's a side quest, I want to do it, I really do. Okay, but anyway, um, there's a lot of pieces, so if I come over here and I inspect this thing, now that I talk to those guys with the missing base, you know, that are talking about that, case just cut it out. Oh, you knew? Wait, what? The heck? Wait, did I not get it though? What? <laughs> okay. That's creepy. That's creepy. It moves by itself. What is this magic? Okay, there was a chikabo in there, which dropped this. What's this? Base piece. Alright, that's one. That's for sure one. Now, if we keep going that back out and going to the next location, which would be right over to the, um... Around the middle of town, maybe? Probably? I don't know. I have to go somewhere over here. Wait, how do I keep going? Is it this way? I think it's this way. No, it's not. I lied. It actually takes me out. That was the wrong way. I do apologize for that, everyone. I do apologize for being so dumb. God damn it. But yeah, people, I'm almost done with the side quest. I'm almost done. Because all the leveling for AP, like, you know, killing cactuars, you already know how to do that, you know, getting... That's how you get your, all, all of your AP up there. And then leveling up, just put junction death to your attack and then just kill enemies. And then in the island closest to heaven or hell. And that's pretty much it. You know, that is pretty much it. Okay. What the heck? I got stopped by a cutscene. Okay. If I check one of these things somewhere... Where is it? Don't have to check some of this? Let's see if I, um... What the heck? Dude, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. What the hell? Let me, like... Hold on, let me go in here. I think I'm missing something, or not? I'm pretty sure. Oh, it actually might be here. Do you like flowers? Yes. A woman named Rain. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. What's this? Received vase piece. Awesome, that's two, two down. Okay. So... What's over here? Is this the chokeable crossing? Probably, right? Whoa, what is this part? I've never been in this part of town. 
I have seriously never been here. What the heck? I just discovered a place that probably nobody in life has ever discovered. Where does this lead? Because, like, seriously, who goes here? What the hell? <laughs> okay. This is not the right way to go, though. Because I, th I think I just skipped a chocobo crossing. The chocobo crossing is the place where you can just catch chicobos or whatever, and you just simply, like, you grab one and then you get a vase piece or something. Yeah, right here. There we go. What the? There we go. Bass piece. I love this music. Bass piece. Also, what's this? You have two of them? Oh, that's a gish gishala greens. Okay. I'm out of here. But yeah, um, actually, don't, can't you get a phoenix penny in for one of them? I think you can. Did you drop anything? Nope, no phoenix penny yet. Oh wait, actually it's right there, it is right there. Give me this item. Phoenix, oh that's a phoenix now, okay, no screw this, I'm just gonna get out of here. I think it is possible to get a phoenix penny in though, I'm pretty sure. But okay, that's three base pieces down, only one base piece left. So, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep heading this way back into the main part of Windhill. So I have to go to Rain's house, Rain's old house at least, because she's not here anymore, unfortunately, you know? You know the tragedy about what happened, I'm pretty sure you do. So it's this building. Okay. So, where's the woman? Not in here. There's a woman here who is not Rain, and I have to keep talking to her several times. Rain? No, that's not rain. Yo, what the heck? I'll get out of here, don't worry. Jeez, man, you're crazy. This is weird. This is creepy. I'm not her ghost or anything. What? Okay. Can I, like, keep talking to her, though? Okay. Not yet, hold on. A mysterious fragrance. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, when she talks about that, the flowers and fragrance, um, go downstairs. And then there's going to be a table in the lower right-hand corner, which would be this one. This one. What the? It's one of these. I don't know which one. It's one of them. Don't lie to me. Dude. Isn't it that one? Um... There's gotta be there's, there's gotta be something here. Oh what? The, there we go. What the hell? This is creepy. Now you see Rain's ghost again. How do I go through there though? It's like go to up to you, probably. Oh my god. All right, cat. I gotta examine the cat. Then you get the base piece, and there we go. It's um. It's a bit creepy, but you know, like, even though it's a side quest, at least, you know, at least it has correlation to the main story, too, because you kind of see rain here, you know, back back in Laguna's days and stuff. So, yeah, I like the side quest, even though the reward is absolutely pathetic now. I mean, you'll see what it is. It's pathetic. The reward is terrible by this point in the game. Okay, so you are right over here. Yep. I have all four of them. What? Dude? Yes, I have them all. And you get a holy stone as your reward! Aren't you so happy? Aren't you happy? Oh my god, people. Yep, that's the quest. I'm not kidding you, that is the quest. It is a side quest, and I wanted to do it because, you know, it's part of the game. Although, I mean, that logic doesn't really work. You know why? Because I'm not gonna do some of the side quests. The Chocobo Forest side quest. Screw that side quest so much. I hate it in this game. I despise it. So I'm not going to do it. I'm just not. But there is one more side quest I want to do. And it's actually getting the poo poo card, believe it or not. Yes, yeah, so you can actually get something called the poo poo card. The poo poo. Poo poo card. Okay, I'll shut up now. 
So, to get that, I'm like preparing myself here right now, I'm like knowing how to do this junk because it's kind of complicated sometimes, it could be. But, um, what you want to do, because there are four different locations that you want to walk around. Windhill is actually one of them. So, like, if you just walk around here, put Encounter None on. If you put Encounter None on and just walk around, you'll eventually trigger something, something pretty awesome. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, man. <sighs> that took a little bit too long. So, like I said, if you put Encounter None on, you can still trigger these. And you're like, what the heck is going on? You can't draw anything, you can't attack anything. You just see a UFO abducting a freaking cow. That is some of the weirdest shit of Final Fantasy VIII, I'm not gonna lie. That is so strange. Okay. But once you see that, that's one out of four encounters done. So, time to get back into Ragnarok and do something else. Let's see here, let's go ahead and turn around. Okay. Now it's time to go to, um, Timber. Where's Timber? I believe it's that. Yep, there it is. Let's simply go ahead and go head that way. Over to Timber. So in Timber, if we just simply head south of Timber, which is going to be... Which way south? Wait, is it that beach? It's supposed to be called Mandy Beach. I don't know if it's this one, though. No, okay, that's, that's not south of Timber, though. What the heck is this? Is this Mandy Beach? Yes, it is. It's technically east of Timber. Okay, there we, so this one appeared fast. This one appeared right away. Okay, so here's the second of four encounters. Again, no monsters, nothing at all. But having encounter none will basically guarantee you this encounter here. And this time it's abducting... What the heck is that? I don't know what that was. I have no idea. Whatever. Okay, that's battle number two. Or encounter number two. Done. Alright. Next up... Is, um... Oh, the Kashkabal Desert. Okay. So I have to head... Well, actually, the last place would be... Trabia. So I could head over here. It's gonna be the Trabia Heath Peninsula, which is gonna be somewhere along this way. It's towards the east of Trabia Garden. So if Trabia Garden is located somewhere around here... Wait, where's Trabia Garden? There it is. That's Trabia Garden. So you gotta keep going this way. And... I don't know, is this it? It's, I mean, it's on the Heath Peninsula. This is... No, that's not it. That's Beaker Snowfield. Let's see. Please be Heath Peninsula. Yes. Okay, walk around here. Okay, so here we go. Um, it's actually not in the peninsula itself. It's on the little island next to the peninsula. That was the thing that kept throwing me off. Okay, so here's battle number three. Again, always just simply wait and then something will happen. Yes, this time it's abducting. I don't even know what the hell that is. I have no clue, but okay then. It looks like crops or something. I don't know what that was. Okay, the next place is, um, it's going to be in Kashkabal Desert, which is in, you know, the southern portion of Esthar, technically. Well, actually, no, it would be Central Ruins, in a way. So, you know, it's, it's got to come over here. So, let's see. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I have no clue. I'm out of commentary, people. I'm so out of commentary. Okay. So... I believe it's going to be on the western part, maybe? Probably. Okay, so the desert's right there. If I go to the western part of the desert, which would be right over here, it should be here. Let's see if this, if this is um, still Kashkabal Desert. If it is, then I'm good. Yes, it is. So I can just walk around here. There we go. In just two seconds it showed up. In just two freaking seconds, that's awesome. Oh my god, Siren's in the background again. It's not a shiny, sparky video without sirens in the background, of course. So that is number four. All right. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I was carrying a pyramid of some sort. That, that's, that's strange, and that's so weird. All right, but that's all four sightings. 
the next thing to do is to actually get back on the Ragnarok. And this time... Find Grandidi Forest, which is located all the way over here somewhere. Over there. So it's going to be a Northern Estar. And it's got to be the Highlands. Yes, above the Chocobo Sanctuary. So let's see if I can find this place. Just got to keep going like this. Just don't accidentally run into a Lunatic Pandora because I... Oh boy. Yeah, just don't. Wait, where the hell is it? Oh, over here. This is Grand Didi Forest. So yeah, it's gotta be... Because as you can see, the Chocobo Forest is actually... Oh, there it is. That's it. That's the Chocobo Forest. Which means that... It's gotta be here somewhere. Why is the camera doing that? Do you see this? How stupid are you? Your camera? There we go. Okay. I barely move. I move like one pixel. And it triggered. This time, we are actually going to fight the UFO, that's right. Let's go ahead and attack it. Alright, so what can you draw from it? Demi. Just Demi. Bam! Are you dead? Yes, you are destroyed. I'm a murderer. I killed the UFO. Well, there we go. He's dead. <laughs> wow. That is one hell of a noise. And then we get the victory theme. It's like, yeah, we did it. We did it. We destroyed a UFO. We got to be proud of ourselves. So you get an Aegis amulet, which, um, well, evasion, wait, yeah, evasion junction. That's pretty cool, actually. That's really nice. Okay. One more step to do in this poo poo quest before I end the video. I now need to head all the way back to. Balaam, the little island of Balaam in the center, right over there. What the hell? What happened here? Huge explosion just happened there. Did you see that? That's crazy. Okay, right here. All you want to do is simply walk up to this place, and you will trigger a scene by going here into where Balaam Garden used to be. That's Poo Poo, the guy that was in the UFO. Don't ever attack him. Don't. Don't you dare. Also, you can draw some pretty decent stuff here. Okay, all you want to do is give him Elixir. Elixir. Yeah, don't ever attack him. You can kill him if you want, and you'll get an accelerator. But honestly, you're gonna make uh, you're gonna miss out on something very very unique. The Poo Poo card. Yes, I'm not kidding. It's the Poo Poo card. Okay, that's two. You have to give him five elixirs. If you are missing elixirs, go ahead and refine that Angelo card. Okay, that's three. Just a few more. Elixir on you. And then finally, one more. Why does it only heal 10 HP, by the way? You only have 10 HP? Yeah, what well, you do, because, um... The elixirs refill HP completely, so it's always going to be your max HP, which means that he only has 10 HP. Which is very strange, actually. Okay, so thank you. And that's it. Doing that will get you the Poo Poo card, Poo Poo's card. So, Poo Poo's card is very unique, for one big reason, which I'll talk about in just a bit. <clears throat> okay, right now. But yeah, that's the end of the quest. So, it's only a level 5 monster card. Here it is. But it has an ace. It's a 1-3-2 ace, as you can see. So, it's a very unique card. If you refine it, you can never, ever get it again. All the other player cards and GF cards, you can get them. You can get them back eventually. By, um, fighting the CC people and the Ragnarok and the Disc 4. Poo Poo, however, no. No, 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 no. Poo Poo is unique. And you will never be able to, um, get it back if you refine it into one hungry cook pot, which, what the hell does that even do? I forgot what that does. Oh well, whatever. I mean, I could refine it because I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do it probably, but we'll see. But, whatever. So, that is it. In the next episode, you're probably gonna see me next to Lunatic Pandora, but in between parts, I'm gonna level up to 100. 
at least three party members. I don't know if I'll do everyone to level 100, we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna level up, I'm gonna be a full on AP as well by going up to my GS and just maxing them out. I think everybody's junction, even Doom Train and your junction. Oh, you're not junction, I got a junction, you okay. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, I'm gonna level up and get AP. So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.